here in the clubhouse of the Oklahoma City Dodgers, the Dodgers and AAA affiliates, and I make my debut in Oklahoma City at home with the Oklahoma City Dodgers. We're ready to play. We'll do some practice before the game, do some short hop drills. We'll be on our way. Make my debut batting leadoff hitter. Not a bad batting average. I changed it from one down. To power, so and stepping in is the speedy Connor, Connor Hollis. More power. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite no, level speed, but he bags. can absolutely move, nobody and it is a factor in his game. Out to center. Number seven drifts towards it, squeezes okay, it. Out. Two away. Here's Two the center away. fielder, number seven. Two away. Three RBIs all from that home run. The wind of the pitch. A few gains ago. There's the strike. Was that like a... Uh, knuckle Swing ball. and a miss. Gosh. As he was out front that time. The pitch. In the air, left field, down the line, and it's just foul. Those knucklers, man. Kicks and deals. Knuckle balls. Swings and misses, struck him out. Batting second. And now the center now fielder, number seven, number seven, went down on strikes his first time through. I anticipate where these knuckleballs go. Called strike Damn. three, the knuckleball buckled his knees. I don't know what to do about this knuckleball thing. One down. <laughs> and now <laughs> here is read those Alfonso Reba. Those knuckleballs, man. <laughs> and that one is lifted in the air. He's got it, and there are two down. Digging in, Brandon Valenzuela. Okay. Over for one, so Valenzuela. Valenzuela. The Dodgers had a Valenzuela. The pitch. Hit hard, base hit. No. Get, get, now he'll get, turn get, for get. second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up okay. double. Didn't, didn't get too many bases. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way. Now that so the now lineup well flips up. over. Seven. Number seven, the next to hit. Well, somebody can over at least two hit a pair of strikeouts. That guy. Let's go now, one time. Okay. Base knock center field. Not a knuckleball. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two okay, outs. Okay, I can hit those. <laughs> now batting, third baseman. Here's the third baseman. I can hit those. Luke Williams, one for two. Those it's interesting, balls, he plays kind of a, so a power much. spot There's defensively, not but pitchers. runs pretty Pitch well. Balls. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Got him. And that ends the inning. Go to the cutoff, man. And a one-two. Into center, number seven, sizes this one up, makes the catch, inning over. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Aaron Brooks. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can take him deep. I'm up for the challenge. Number seven, getting Lead ready to off. hit. Well, both sides the equally as strong. Number seven. So not a good time right, to try to turn on, him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. On a line. Watch. No. Colway pulls it down and he makes the catch. Okay, we walk it off. Nice way to end the first game in Oklahoma City. And your final score here today, 2-1 okay. for Chris Singleton and our entire game. outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Bottom of the first. Now here is number seven. The center fielder, number seven. And a pitch. Out of line, out towards center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Now the left fielder, Pedro Castellanos. Pedro Castellanos. 2-2. Two -two. Out towards left center. Number seven has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs.
Now so up next, number yeah, seven. seven. He's over one. That one ripped. And there's a hit. The throw into second, and they'll score first. It's one zip. Oh, Tries to get back and save. Okay. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Hey, let it fly. Let's go. Right here. And he deals. Right side. Okay, Colway moving under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Dixon. Not second, not first. 2-2 two, two now. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that's the inning. We're playing El Paso Chihuahuas, the San Diego. So the batting order down. turns over. No. Digging Triple in is the switch inning Diego outfielder, Padres. number seven, one for two. Man at third, driving the RBI. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here, puts uh, it away for the out. And there's one it. down. Didn't get it deep enough. And now, now Taylor Colway. The right fielder. Taylor. One out. Okay. Colway. In the air, center field. Number seven, moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Now a screamer into the outfield. Howell snags it for the second out. We go to the eighth, and now the shortstop, okay. Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. The tying run at the plate. Out towards right center field. Number seven drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now the third baseman, Brandon Dixon. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Number seven under this one. Brings it in, and there's one down. He's okay, done it great again, win. Though. Great That's win. his 30th save of the year as he puts a great another win. game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. Sweet dreams. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. All right, ready to go here. Leading off, off Matt Schrock. The second base. Schrock. Matt Schrock. Righty delivers. This one in the air center field. And it's caught for the out. So digging in, number good. seven. The hey, center fielder, number seven. Fly ball down the line. Go foul. No. Castellanos racing, makes the catch. Hip to the plate. That's Perfect. out to okay. center field. Number seven has this one sized up, and he makes the catch. Oh, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch Drop to hit. It. And nice as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. I could watch base hits like now that one all the day long, hit. and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice oh, yeah. line yeah. drive all in the center long. field. And next is the designated hitter, Andy Pajes. Hey, get a good one. Get a good piece on it, huh? Let's the go. pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. One down. And here is Jackson Merrill. Grounded out his first time up. Merrill. The pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs. But Brandon Dixon now. Tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brandon Dixon. Man, a second. Right hander kicks deals. Center field. Racing makes the catch. Okay, Ryan. And yeah, there's two away. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to join you, shortstop. Welcome back. Join the Ready field. to go Wait for the last half of the inning. Here. And now the center fielder, the center field. number seven. Number seven. All these fans definitely want to get, get my workout in. involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Honeywell back to work. Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh, 
That's smash towards center. Smash it. Smash it. And that's a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Always feels amazing getting now a job done when the team needs hit. you to come. Honeywell throws to first. And he's back in safely. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Honeywell really keeping a close eye on him now. Back to first. And again, he's back safely. I think of the major is that you can't do that. And the pitch. Trying to move him over here. Move Bare over. hand grab, and they get the out. We move over. He was out early today working on that the very play. No left field. One out, runner at second. David Peralta at the play. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. Runner around Going third. Home. He scores to tie game. it up. It's 1-1. Picks himself up at RBI. Nice Didn't clutch. try to do too much with it. Just nice to really... No outs. Runner at first. Here's the center fielder. Number seven. A switch damage. hitter batting right. Next pitch is popped up. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. And that one lifted in the air. Center field. Number seven under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Didn't advance. Didn't advance. Okay, we walk it off again. Nice one. And your final score here today, 2-1. A one-run extra We're inning win through. for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding now. crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Kind of Thanks late. for joining I'm call us. It a night. Three great games in every game. At least one hit in every game. Two for four. Return to the clubhouse. Nice walk off. Okay. When players start producing, especially early in their career, fans can't help but compare them to MLB stars of the past and present, trying to get a comp. Ken Griffey Jr., the Hall of Famer, joins me. Ken, how hard is it to compare and predict who these players could become? Well, it's still hard to compare. Uh, people. Um, compare, you know, eras, decades, uh, uh, even your con contemporaries. You still can't compare. Um, growing up, I wanted to be like my dad. You know, at age 12, 13, he sat me down. He said, you're going to be bigger, stronger than me. You're going to hit more home runs. And at that time, I didn't believe him. Uh, I still went out there and, and played my game, you know, patterned my game after his. And all of a sudden, you know, I get 23, 24, and I started hitting the ball out the ballpark at a, a, a more frequent rate. And uh, he just looked at me and started laughing. So it's hard to compare uh, or predict what these kids are going to be. Uh, but you try to give an idea of somewhere of what they can be, but it's still tar it's still hard to do. You're out. Okay, so that was three great games, three wins at home. Anyways, uh, we're going to play another three games next episode against the Chihuahuas at home. And I want to thank you for watching. Like this video, share this video, uh, subscribe so you see future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.